हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन द टॉपिक कॉन्टीन्यूस चार्ज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन चैप्टर इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल यूनिट इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक्स नाउ ऑब्जेक्टिव्स ऑफ द टॉपिक आर व्हाट इज कॉन्टीन्यूस चार्ज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सेकंड इज डिस्कशन ऑफ वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ कॉन्टीन्यूस चार्ज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन द टर्म्स रिलेटेड इन दिस टॉपिक आर लीनियर चार्ज डेंसिटी सेकेंड इज सरफेस चार्ज डेंसिटी थर्ड इज वॉल्यूम चार्ज डेंसिटी नो लेट्स प्रोसीड विद द टॉपिक continuous charge distribution a system of charges can be considered as a continuous charge distribution if the group of charges are located very close as compared to their distance to the point where the intensity of electric field is to be found first of all if the charges are very close to each other we have to use continuous charge distribution but when the charges are very far away they are considered as discrete charges why because we can add these charges but when they are very close they cannot be added so we have to use continuous charge distribution this is the concept here and the second thing is that the electric field at a point is very far away as compared to the charges so when this condition is also there then also we use the topic of continuous charge distribution types of continuous charge distribution linear charge density surface charge density and volume charge density first one is linear charge density suppose there are number of charges and let us consider a single charge q which is distributed uniformly along a length l if we consider a length l then we use linear charge density then the linear charge density which is denoted by lambda is lambda equal to q over l means charge per unit length how much is the charge in unit length that is under linear charge density from here the unit will become coulomb per meter example for this is charge distributed on a very thin rod is an example here whatever i have explained if we consider a length l and a small element dl and charges are located over here let dq be a very small charge and e is the electric field intensity we have to find e considering the small charge dq at this point then we will use linear charge density next is surface charge density as from the word surface it is considered as this is a surface and ds is a very small surface taken and we have to find the electric field at this point due to this small surface here number of charges are there now suppose a charge q be distributed over a surface of area a this is an area and the surface is this one and charges are located over here surface charge density which is denoted by sigma is charge per unit area q over a si unit will become q coulomb area meter square coulomb per meter square this is surface charge density now let us consider volume charge density suppose a charge q is distributed throughout a volume v means three dimensional figure may be a cube or a cuboid then the volume charge density will be given by rho and rho is equal to q over v q is the charge and v is the volume and the si unit will be coulomb per meter cube so this is your surface charge density and volume charge density i hope you have understood the topic thank you students